Hello everyone, welcome to our daily video devotion called Certain Joy in Uncertain Times as we are taking a look at the book of Philippians together and finding the certain joy that is only ours in Christ in these uncertain times that we are living in in our world today. My name is Aaron Bublitz. I serve as pastor at Heritage Lutheran Church in Gilbert, Arizona. My privilege to be able to spend a little bit of time in God's Word with you today. Uh, we are in Philippians chapter 3. Uh, we're just going to take two verses today, verses 15 and 16, and just a, a reminder of where we're at. Uh, Paul just got done writing that uh, he's longing for his heavenly home. He's longing and in, in, um, pressing on, forgetting what's behind, right? All of his good deeds, all of his bad deeds, forgetting all of that uh, and pressing on, straining on towards what's ahead, toward the goal, toward the prize, towards his crown of life that Jesus has already won for him, that God is calling him heavenward in Christ Jesus. And, and that's, that's what, what Paul longs for and is waiting for. And so here he is, uh, Philippians chapter 3, picking up right where we left off, verses 15 and 16 for today. Paul writes, All of us, then, who are mature should take such a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. So uh, Paul's saying those of us who are mature should take such a view of things. And what Paul is saying is that this, having that attitude of, of longing to be in heaven and, and pressing on towards heaven is really a, a mature place to be in your faith. Uh, because, because there's some who, who believe in Jesus as their Savior, but they're, they're still really attached to the things of this world. Uh, they still don't want to let these things go, right? They, they'd rather their life here continue. And not that that's a bad thing, right? Because, because God gives us this time on earth to, to, to bless other people with our, our time and our, and our abilities and, and uh, the resources God has given to us. There's nothing wrong with loving life and, and, loving, time and, and want, loving time with your family and wanting to spend time with them. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, a mature view of faith, of, of the things of God, is that I want to be in heaven because that's where I'm supposed to be, right? With God, right? That's where everything in this life that makes me sad and afraid and, and uncertain, it's all gone, right? Uh, and, and that's the goal. The goal is heaven. The goal is not peace on earth. The goal is not, you know, my life being just great uh, here on earth. The goal is not um, that degree or that amount of money. The goal is heaven. And, and so that's a mature view of faith. And he says that, uh, let's take such a view of these things, those of us who are mature in faith. And then he says, if, if, if you think differently on some point, that too God will make clear to you. So, so here he's speaking to those who maybe aren't at that point yet, right? Who, who know, yes, I, heaven's mine through Jesus. Yes, I want to be there someday, but man, I still want to live this life. I still, uh, I, you, you think differently on this right now. God will make it clear to you. I, and that's such an important phrase that God will make it clear to you. And God himself strengthens our faith. God himself matures us in our faith. It's God the Holy Spirit who works through his means of grace, right? through, through the gospel, in the word, in the gospel, in the sacrament, uh, to, to help us to let go of the things of this life. To, to stop taking such a, a temporal, earthly view of the things of this life and, 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 and the view of our lives here in this world, uh, and, and gives us more of a, a mature, spiritual, eternal view of things. Right? As we hear God's love more and more for us in Christ in the gospel, right? as we know his forgiveness deeper, as we, as we know the hope and the joy and the peace that we have with God, right? we can't, it can't help as we dig into that deeper, as we know that more, that we can't help but want to be with God in person, right? in heaven. Uh, that, that we want to let go of everything of this life and hold on to that. Right? So, so God will make that clear to you. God himself will do that. God, Paul's not saying, come on, just have a stronger faith. Come on, mature in your faith. Grow up in your faith. He's saying God is, God's going to do it. God's going to make you clear and help you uh, take such a view of, of, of life and, and your purpose and, and, and your eternity. Um, he's going to make that more clear to you too. And then he ends it this way. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. All right, so again, speaking to everybody, let's live up to what we've all attained. And what we've all attained is the righteousness of Christ. Right, we have peace and forgiveness with God. Uh, we have heaven, right? Uh, we, we know these things. We believe these things. They're all ours through Jesus Christ, our Savior. 
Let's live up to them. Let's hold on to them, right? Let's, let's not let go of these things. Instead, this is what brings us joy. These things that are ours in Christ. I, 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 like we've said, there are so many things in this life, especially right now, that want to sap us of our joy. Uh, but the joy that we have is certain because it's in Christ and because everything he does for us is done and it's certain and it's ours by faith as a gift. Right? And this is where our certainty comes in, in all of the uncertainty and doubts of our world. We have good standing with God right now. We belong to God through Christ. Heaven is our home, right? and we want to grow up in these things. We want to know these things more. We want our joy to deepen, uh, and, and God, will, God will do that for us. That's what Paul's saying here to us. Let's, let's mature in our faith. Let's grow up in these things. Let, let's, let's have a deeper uh, joy and hope and peace that God gives us through the gospel in Christ. Let's pray about that. Heavenly Father, uh, we ask you to help us to mature in our faith. And, and the way that you do that for us is, is through your gospel, through the word and through the sacrament. As we um, hear your gospel, you are helping us. Your, your Holy Spirit is coming to us and helping us grow in our faith, mature in our faith. And so that uh, we, we take less of a temporal, uh, earthly view of our lives. And instead, uh, we can take an eternal view perspective, uh, that, that we long to be with you. We long to be in heaven. Uh, and until then, you will give us opportunities to serve you and to use our gifts to, uh, to, to serve others and love others. And, and uh, Lord, use our lives to glorify you and to point others to you, uh, but, but deepen our faith and, and help us uh, to live up to what we've already attained and uh, to remain in our faith and to um, keep our eyes fixed on, on the goal of our faith, and that's our salvation through Jesus our Savior. Let this be our joy now and always. Amen. Thanks for being with us today. Uh, pray that God has blessed your time with us in his word. Uh, please share these resources with anyone that you think might be blessed by them as well. And uh, you leave any comments or questions you might have uh, below here on our YouTube channel. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. God's blessings.